this is a kind of a Greek philosophical discussion that that predates Christianity way back in in um, philosophical in 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 go, you know going back to Philo but as the name implies philosophy philo- philosophical Aristotle and all of these great Greek thinkers of philosophy um, uh, had these discussions about the universe and the creation and the earth and what's the source where does all this thing where does where does all this come from and they came up with this idea of of that there's this this um this principle this elemental aspect right the the elemental um the 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 the, the building blocks of the universe the the the, the um uh, I'm, I'm forgetting a, a certain English or Greek word at the moment, but when it comes to me, I'll tell you. But they had this discussion about um, where does all of this have its source? I mean, everything has to come from something. And so they, they kind of created this idea of arche, A-R-C-H-E. It's a Greek term, arche or archi. And this idea is that all of this stuff must be foundationally uh, originated from something. It's kind of like the early Big Bang discussions, if you want to carry it into modern um, uh, terminology. You know, the Big Bang idea that everything in the universe originated with some source material that exploded and thrust all that material outward in every direction. And thus, planets were formed, galaxies were formed, stars were formed, etc., etc. Well, the Greeks had the same kind of idea. Well, that's the the philosophical side of the discussion. In Christian terminology, in, in, in biblical discussion, we already have the answers to where everything came from. Genesis tells us, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So we know that God is the source of everything. But when John penned his gospel, and I'm drawing my study to a close with this, when John penned his gospel and wrote that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, John opened up the idea to us as believers that God was not alone at the very beginning. That indeed the living Word, the eternal Word, was with God and was very God in substance, in 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 very existence. And thus, this Word created everything, right? The agent of creation, God spoke and it became, right? Remember, if you read through Genesis, that's that's how it reads out, right? And God said, let there be light, and God said, let there be trees, and God said, let there be plants, and, you know, God said, God said, God said. So, the spoken word is his agent of creation, and this spoken word is the living word, which John goes on to tell us, became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, right? So this this living word becomes Yeshua in the incarnation. Thus, as I'm drawing the study to a close, we begin to ask the question, if Jesus is the source of everything, then where does the Holy Spirit fit into the picture? Well, is he the creator? Well, those are different discussions, and there are different passages along those lines. But when we talk about now, suddenly Jesus says, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father, we start having these discussions in Christian circles as to, was Jesus the source of everything, or was it God? Well, we know that Jesus is very God in one way. In another way, he's not God, right? There's that mystery of the Trinity all over again. Jesus is fully man, but he's fully God, but he's fully man. And so, this is why we can understand and appreciate the split. I'm not saying I agree with the split. Heaven forbid. I I think it was a bad idea. I think they should have come to a theological, um, even if they could agree to disagree, but don't split the church. I mean... That's it's unfortunate that, that happened, but nevertheless, it, it it it's 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 where it's at right now, and um, it doesn't seem to be coming back together. And it's been over a thousand years, right? Um, so let's continue to to pray for one another because none none of us has the single corner corner market on the street of truth. None of us have got it all right. We've got to continue to work these issues out, and that's why we have these. Um, um, Examining, uh, what do I call this study? Uh, 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 exploring the Shema discussions on the issues of Trinity.